Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at the support for relationships in JSON Server. When you're working with an SQL database, it is common for an API to join two tables and return the joined data. For example, when fetching the list of products, we might also want to fetch the corresponding reviews. In our case, reviews 1, 2, and 3 are associated with product ID 1. Review 4 with product ID 2 and review 5 with product ID 3. When rendering a product details page in the front end, information about the product is displayed followed by the product reviews. Let me show you how to query our db.json file to include children resources when fetching the data. Back in the browser, we already know that localhost port 3000 slash products will give us the list of products. Now to add reviews as part of the product object itself, we use the embed keyword. So products, question mark, underscore embed is equal to reviews. When I press enter, you can see all reviews for a corresponding product are attached as a new reviews property. For product ID 1, we have the three reviews. Similarly, for product ID 2, we have a review and for product ID 3, we have a review. In this way, the relationship between product and the child review can easily be served as part of the API. As a front-end dev, you don't really have to worry about joining tables when you have to quickly prototype something. This of course works with individual products as well. So products slash one and then question mark. Now we see just the first product with all the reviews. So this is how you include children resources with the embed keyword. Now it is also possible to include parent resources when you're querying a child resource. Or in our case, it is possible to include the product info when querying for the review. We know that localhost 3000 slash reviews will give us the list of five reviews. This ID in fact should be five. Now to fetch the parent resources, we use the underscore expand keyword. So reviews question mark underscore expand is equal to product. And this has to be singular since the review can have only one parent. And you can see that all reviews have a corresponding product attached. You can also do this with individual reviews. So reviews slash one and then question mark. So we have the review with the product information. And if you ask me, the ability to create mock APIs to this extent with zero coding is truly great. With that, we come to the end of the different features JSON server supports when fetching data. In the next video, Let's understand how to post data. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.